At this point, it is best to have both the Microsoft Form Excel sheet and the Analysis sheet opened. So, if we look at your Microsoft um, Form Analysis sheet, we click at the top left hand corner, we'll just copy this section and then minimise this and then paste it straight onto the analysis grid. Now this is where I call, this is where all the magic happens. So if you just click at the left hand corner, right in the left hand corner and then paste in, you'll notice that this is now the information from your Microsoft form. You no longer need to Microsoft form. At the bottom of this analysis grid, you'll notice we've got point A raw results and point B raw results. This section, point A, at the, this is the results we've just copied and pasted in. Point B is if you would like to then do a comparison later on in the year, You'll notice point B is empty at the moment, so if you were to do the 20 questions again, you would copy this into point B, and then further along in the tabs, then you'd be able to see a comparison grid. But for today's training, we're only concentrating on point A results. Coming along the bottom, we now click on to our summary graph. This graph gives a score out of 40, so you can see for this group of children, we've got 28 out of 40 for affiliation, 25 for agency, 24 for autonomy, and 24 for health and safety. So looking even at this visually, you can actually see this group of children have got a real high sense of affiliation. Moving along to our radar graphs. I won't go into this in too much detail just now. There'll be a further video to, to explain and start to look into uh, individual pupils' uh, scores. But the radar graphs just provide the opportunity for individual people. We don't need to look at B just now because that's the comparison scores. It's really just A that you would be focusing on and you might then start to look at individual children and if there's an area or there's a child that you think, oh, you know, I'd like to delve in a little bit deeper, then you could go back to your raw scores and look at the, the questions. Our bar charts along the bottom just give you the same information, but just in a different format. This is the section that is of most interest just now. Section B, this would be your comparison, and then the last part would be the difference between A and B, but for today, once again, we're only concentrating on A. Now, when you're looking at uh, this information, the spark line is a really good guide because on the left-hand column, you're really looking for all of these columns to be quite thick blue, the middle one very thin, and then the end column very little lines at all and that will correlate with the results here. What we would normally do at this time is we would look and we would say we would look at our high scores and also perhaps come down and then look at our low scores which would then provide the opportunity for deep discussion with the class teacher, with the pupils um, during our pupil tracking meetings and also allowing the pupils to be involved in planning the next steps. This is one of the benefits of using the GMWP, that it's not the class teacher that's planning the next steps, the information is coming from the, the, the young people themselves. Thank you for watching this short video clip today. I hope it has been helpful and I hope you enjoy using the GMWP within your class or your whole school. Thank you.